The Juarez cartel Ramirez informed on is losing the drug war. U.S. intelligence says the Sinaloa cartel has taken over most of the coveted trafficking routes through Juarez. At the head of that cartel, the notorious El Chapo. News Channel Line's Kai Porter has the story. Joaquin Guzman is one of the most elusive men in Mexico, known to most as El Chapo or Shorty. It doesn't matter who you are, whose grandmother you are, or whose child you are, if you get in his way, he'll take you out. The FBI confirms the majority of drug loads arriving from Juarez now belong to El Chapo, Mexico's most wanted fugitive. I think you could say he's the contemporary Al Capone of Mexico, but really in the world he's probably the single most powerful and most effective drug trafficker. He's also the world's richest outlaw. Forbes magazine put Guzman on its annual billionaires list, which angered Mexican President Felipe Calderon, who said it glorified criminality. Guzman's cartel also has a big impact here on the U.S. side of the border. Drug agents say Sinaloa traffickers smuggle in more than 100 tons of marijuana every single year, along with methamphetamine, cocaine, and heroin, and they operate in cities around the United States. Guzman is infamous for using tunnels to smuggle drugs into the U.S., and the Justice Department is offering a $5 million reward for his capture. No question uh, how brutal he is, how violent he is. Uh, he's also smart. And very hard to catch. Kai Porter, 